There's tremendous controversy over prostate cancer screening, and there are some very loud voices that suggest no one should be screened for prostate cancer. There's other people who feel strongly that everybody should be screened for prostate cancer. I wanted to share with you a brief overview and condensed version of my thoughts. For a well-informed, otherwise healthy man who's likely to live another 10 years or more, I definitely think it's important for him to have a discussion with his physician on the pros and cons of prostate cancer screening. If he does choose to be screened, the backbone of that is a PSA blood test and also a prostate exam. There are men who I feel strongly should definitely be screened, and that's men who have a compelling family history of prostate cancer. Or they have a genetic mutation that leads them to have a higher likelihood of developing the disease. But if you have an elevated PSA, higher than it should be, there are many things that can be done to evaluate whether it is truly inappropriately elevated. Because there are many things that can cause your PSA to be elevated. There's inflammation that can be in the prostate, there's infections, men with larger prostates make more PSA. Some guys genetically make more PSA than others. But absolutely, positively, prostate cancers can lead to an elevated PSA. You always want to repeat the PSA. You want to check to see if there's an infection. If the PSA remains elevated, there's a total assessment that's done whether we move to the next steps. There's a lot of ancillary information that can be helpful. The size of the prostate, something called the free PSA, the trend of your PSAs, the age, and your health. But many times we then move to an MRI, which is the best picture we can get of the prostate. And for many men, we stop the evaluation there because there's such a low likelihood of having a worrisome cancer. But if there are concerns for a potential cancer, many men undergo a biopsy. The biopsies currently are done transperineal using the information from the MRI. And the biopsy will ultimately show a lot of information, but falls into three general categories. Number one, in the best case scenario, is no cancer seen. The second best scenario is that there's cancer there, but it's a small, wimpy form of prostate cancer where almost always we recommend surveillance or monitoring without any treatment. But the third most likely outcome, but the only reason for doing prostate cancer screening, is in case the biopsy does show disease that might one day cause problems and warrants a discussion regarding treatment options. So there's a lot more nuance and detail, but that's a general overview of my thoughts on screening and the intent of the evaluation and ultimate biopsy of the prostate.